three, two, one. Welcome back, everyone, to the Super Fun Pack podcast. We're actually thinking of changing the name to uh, the Super Fun Pack Movie Cast because uh, we kind of just talk about movies on this podcast. So it's now going to be from here on out the Super Fun Pack. Not yet, because Chris cast. hasn't had time to make a new thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm going to make a new thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to make a new thumbnail, <laughs> and within the, Jen still has the bird flu. What? I don't have the bird flu. Yeah, you do. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I just have mucus in my lungs, guys, and I can't breathe, and I have an inhaler now. But, uh, I'm going to make the thumbnail soon. It's just soon is like us, three so months, guys. It was just the two of us. Why are you saying it's just the two of us? Because it's just the two of us. You and I. You suck. I don't recognize that song because you suck so badly. Uh, oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, so something really funny happened. I got to work. So um, I had to go to work late today. Oh, so you know how we have a studio now, guys? Do you hear the echo? Echo, echo. It's because we're too poor to afford furniture right now. So we have a studio, but it's an empty room, hence the echo. Yeah, (laughs) our studio is our spare bedroom. And it's empty. (laughs) We'll fill it eventually. But something really funny happened, so I had to wait (coughs) to go to work because we had to get some work done in the apartment, and the plumber had to come today. But, of course, I had to poop really badly when he came, right? So he's fixing the toilet, and I couldn't poop. So I was having, like, a poopy day. And so finally got to go to work. Second I got to work, I had the worst fucking diarrhea ever. And I text my coworker and I go, what is it with with this lab and giving me an upset stomach? Must be the chemicals. And she just said, sends me the like crying, laughing emoji. Oh, (laughs) that's my life. (laughs) My job gives me the shits, guys. (laughs) I had (laughs) so much poop today. (laughs) So much poop. Do you lose weight when you poop? I believe you do. You lose weight when you pee, so why not when you poop? So, I think you do. You do? Yeah. I think when the shitty stuff comes out of your butt, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you lose like a few pounds, maybe a pound. It, it, is poop a lot of, is poop solid or is it mainly water? <clears throat> um, sometimes my poops are solid. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to call this the poop cast. The poop cast. Hey, yeah. The poop cast. <laughs> well, today, guys, this episode, we're going to talk about the Super Bowl. And frankly, the best part of the Super Bowl. Tell them what that is, Chris. Philadelphia Eagles won. No. It's the commercials. The tyrants known as the Patriots. <laughs> but, uh, no. Uh, yeah, you're right. We're actually going to watch all the, uh, the trailers and TV spots do, uh, on the Super Bowl. Um, and we're going to give you our live reactions and critique of. They're not each really trailer. live because we're not actually watching the Super Bowl, but we're gonna watch each of these trailers slash spots on YouTube right now. Yeah. And then comment on them as we're watching them because we tried to watch them all separately, but we forget them because there's so many. <laughs> Essentially. So what is the first trailer slash spot that we are watching, Chris? Um, first. We're going to find the actual full-length TV spot or trailer to Avengers Infinity War. We're going big. We're going big? We're going big. So. uh, And we're using the Sony PlayStation 4. Do they have a spot for the, when's Captain, Captain Marvel coming out? Um, Captain Marvel doesn't have a TV spot yet, but they just have a still image out. When is the movie going to come out? I think, um, early 2019. So next year. Next year, yeah. Next year. When does The Incredibles come out? Character. Uh, I think it's coming out this year. Incredibles? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming out this year, I believe. Okay, hurry up and find it. Alright, so. He's still looking. Here's the 30 second. found a 30 second one. There, this is the <laughs> Super Bowl TV spot, so. Okay. Here we go. 
Uh, okay. It's people. Oh, the guardians are now interacted with everyone. Yeah, finally. Oh, Spider-Man. Spidey. Oh, Captain America looking like Big Boss. Who was that blonde person? That was uh, the Black Widow. Oh, so I don't have my glasses on. I don't like her blonde. Yeah, she looks really weird blonde. Okay, Bucky, Black Panther. Bucky looking super hot with his. I hair. love Sebastian Stan. Okay, if can I add him on my cheat thing? Oh, like the my thing? celebrity sex list. Uh, that if I meet him and he decides to have sex with me or lets me have sex with him, regardless if we're if we're in a relationship or not, you can't get mad at me because he's on the list. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, so what did you think of that 30 second spot? Uh, they showed, it was very heavy Spider-Man. No, it wasn't. Spider-Man was like in a f almost all the scenes. No, he's in one. He's in like three No, scenes. he was in one. So play it again. All right, we're going to play it again. Spider-Man was in one. All right, so here we go. Silence your face hole. One. one. Oh, that's Spider-Man right there. No, that was Peter Parker, not Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man. Two. One. Not Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man. Not Spider. Not Spider. Not Spider. Uh, no, I, I just was focused on Spider-Man. Only twice, and one of them he was Peter Parker. So He takes the mask off on both. No! He was wearing the suit. He was wearing the suit in the other one, uh, too. So how do I feel about this? I mean, it's, it's super short. It makes you feel nothing. It's yeah. just like... Like, I'm... I'm really curious about uh, Captain America's weird arm gauntlet thing. Yeah, but I'm going maybe because they can't get the shield. Yeah. Or but I'm just gonna go and say Thanos looks like that cold, fucking cold Stone Cold Steve Austin, the wrestler. He looks like a purple Stone Cold. Yeah, that's what Man, he looks like. If Jr's in that movie, I'm gonna lose my shit. That, I, that's what he looked like. He was not intimidating. Back out, Austin. Austin. Isn't he supposed Back to be like the, the worst villain in the universe in this in this exact moment? And that's what he looks like. Uh, yeah, Thanos actually just looks like that, though. In the comic books, he looks not... He has not changed. It's not like Stephen Wolf in his... Oh, so that's actually how he looks in the comic books? Yeah. Like, kind of normal? He kind of looks normal. He's just a big dude. Oh, he's, he's big? They just didn't show him in, like... In full scale. He's usually... He's, like, 10 feet tall. 12 oh. feet tall. Um, but... Yeah, I agree. It didn't make me feel anything. That first trailer did. When I first saw the original um, Avengers Infinity War trailer, I was excited. Because, like, two of my favorite heroes... Actually, no, three of my favorite heroes are, like, in this. And they're going to get to interact with each other. That's how I felt with um, Civil War as well. I like seeing, like, Bucky, Cap, and Spidey all interact. Mm, mm. Um, I don't like Iron Man. Black Panther, if they do it right. He could be cool. I haven't, we can't speculate yet, because we yeah. haven't, <clears throat> he was, I liked him in, um, <sighs> Captain America Winter Soldier, right? Yeah, he's yeah. in that one. Uh, no, 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 he was no, in, Civil, in War. Civil War. I liked him, I liked Black Panther, and I can't remember the guy's name, the actual character's name now. Um, I liked his character a lot, he was very interesting, um. So, I mean, I hope that they keep building off of it. He was a very cool character, and he had a lot of depth to him, even in a kind of supporting role yeah, in Civil War. And I hope that they keep going with that. And I'm real Okay, I'm not going to speak anymore about Black Panther, because I'm actually really excited for it. So. All right. Okay, so that was our first one. Let's look at another trailer. What else was the other? Oh, so, the, the next one The Han is Solo one. Solo, a Star Wars story. And so far, I think... The only trip for, with the Star Wars movies was uh, Force Awakens, believe it or not. A trip? Like, they're, they're only, like, bad one, I feel. I thought The Last Jedi was... Like, I like The Last Jedi. It's just, there's uh, things wrong with it. I did not like The Last... Okay, I haven't liked the, the new trilogy at all. Yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah, this... So I like Rogue One a lot more. Rogue Rogue One I liked a lot. I did I not. Li like, I, okay, okay, let's watch the Star Wars. I like Star movie. Wars, but it's just that. I like Star Wars, but I like talking about Star Wars more than I actually like the movies themselves. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. 
I get to press play? Yes. It's appropriate, all audiences. It's the Millennium Falcon. Lucasfilm. So there's a speeder going by. Is he the little one or the big one driving? No, it's um, it's Han Solo driving it. It's hard to hear him what he's saying. It's the Millennium Falcon. There's Maz in this. And there's Chewie. Wait, who's the actor playing him? I don't know. I forget his name. It's Amelia Clark. I'm looking it up. I don't know who this actor is. Wait, I'm confused. I thought Han Solo was just a smuggler. Yeah, he is. He's literally nobody. He, he's just a smuggler. So, wait, what is this crew that they're putting together? I have no idea. They don't even talk about it in the trailer. I the know guy about... just said, I'm putting together a crew. Yeah, but they don't explain what they're putting together. Beside just, I am putting I out a crew. I am actually pulled out of it because I cannot remember who the fuck this guy is. The guy who's playing Solo. Even though he looks like, uh, uh, he looks very familiar. So I'm going to, I have to figure it out. I have to, I have to figure it out. Who is that actor? Also, I couldn't hear anything he was saying because the background music was louder than uh, the audio. Yeah. Like all the dialogue was being drowned out by the music. Um, the visuals look really good, but that's every Star Wars movie. Every Star Wars movie's visuals are great. Like, and before people like go crazy. Yeah, I understand the prequels are CG heavy, but like for the time, everyone liked it. So you know, get over it. Oh, that's who it is. Ah, he plays Ethan Waite in The Beautiful Creatures. Oh. That's why he looks so familiar to me. His name's Alden Heinrich. Uh, I know this movie had a lot of problems being made. Which one, Han Solo? Yeah. Why? Uh, like the director got fired. They had to get a new director in, and they, like ninety five percent of this movie is reshoots. Just going back because I actually really liked this actor in Beautiful Creatures. He did. I thought he did a really good job, but he does yeah. not look that cute as Han Solo. He looked way hotter in the other movie. Because I'm looking at him right now, and isn't Han Solo supposed to be like very attractive? I, if you like Harrison Ford, then he's attractive. Mm, I don't like Harrison Ford. Actually, I don't really like Han Solo as a character that much, so... All the nerds are angry now. At me? <laughs> nah, I don't really care for Han Solo either. I... I uh... Like, my favorite character in all Star Wars is Anakin <laughs> slash Vader. <coughs> yeah, me too. So. Dirty rebels. Yeah. This is an empire house. I'd be a dictator one day, I think. If you gave me the power to be a dictator, you know, there's some people like, I wouldn't do it, I'd turn it, I'd fucking use it all. I'd be right there, but yeah, let's make, I'll do the same th creepy line Anakin did. Hmm? I'd be like, we can rule the galaxy together, we can make it the way we want it to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the Han Solo spot. What's uh, the other spot that came out? So, Mission Impossible Fallout. Okay, I if hadn't we, seen... If we know the story, we're getting to see Superman's mustache make a prominent appearance. Oh, God, and yes! this is the movie they that fucked up Justice League's it. face. Okay, let's go, let's go. Press it. Press play. <laughs> oh, it's an ad. It's an ad. And we can't skip said ad, so... Uh, well, they're drinking five-hour energy. <laughs> 
I've never had a five hour energy Neither because have I. I have an, I'm an adult who sleeps. My brother drinks those. How old? Which one? Which one? Oh, it's uh, on. Where are they? Are they trying to be like Star Wars? No. Like the the opening mountain scenery with the voice sound like Star Wars. Mm. Oh, I like the song Friction. That woman's in a lot of stuff lately. Man, Henry Cavill's mustache is so good. Where is he? Right there in the back. Oh! Man. How come the- everyone keeps using Tom Cruise as an action star when he's very short in real life? <laughs> he's like 5'2". <laughs> he's 5'7". He's so tiny. He gets his crates to look taller than people. Why didn't wow. they just give him the beard? Yeah, they should have just League? give it to him. He looks good with it. He looks so good. Okay, it's another just like action movie. You know what I would rather have? Just a plain old fucking spy movie, but a good one. Oh my god, Whoa. he's fighting Superman, and Superman's beating ass. Can't find the fiction. That's the song. Man, he's so old now. So, apparently Tom Cruise broke his leg during this movie. Oh, wow. Because he does all his stunts. Wow. Oh, I'm so... I feel so bad, but I don't care. (laughs) I don't like any, like, I haven't seen any of the Mission Impossibles. I, I don't like spy movies. Yeah. They're, they're always like, oh, the mystery, it's all the intrigue. I'm like, oh my god. Just... But I do like the Mission Impossible movies. Mm-hmm. And my favorite one is the most unpopular Mission Impossible movie, which is number two. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's just, people hate it. Because it's a very John Woo movie, and it's like you see the doves flying and the slow motion bullet fights and gunfights, and there's a motorcycle like chase, and they ended up like jumping in the middle of the beach and crashing the motorcycles and had a nice fight right after. <laughs> I was like, what? I love it because the main villain has this deep British accent or Scottish accent, I don't know, but he's like. <laughs> He talks like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> yeah, at one point he goes, he's like, he's like, are you really fucked up now, Hunt? Mm. He's like, he's like, you may have stopped me, but at least it's a better way to go out than how that bitch is going to die. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck accent are you pulling? Mm-hmm. I'm so confused. I love this. Um, so, you know about Crocodile Dundee, right? What about it? Well, they're redoing it. What? With all Australian actors. Isn't Crocodile Dundee already just like a stupid movie? Yep. Let's watch. Oh, God. They got the Hemsworth. Because they're all Australian. And everyone knows only the Hemsworth brothers are real Australian. (laughs) (laughs) 
Is this his real accent? Danny McBride is Engl- like American. Uh, there's the real crocodile Dundee. This is. There's nothing like Australia. It's a commercial for Australia. <laughs> it's a movie that's actually commercial. What? It's so. Oh, they're redoing it. So it might be the real thing. It's just they're disguising it as a uh, as a commercial because Margot Robbie is supposed to be in it too. Hmm. Um, hold on. I don't remember what Crocodile Dundee is about. The original. I don't remember either. I remember it's about a guy named Crocodile Dundee. And uh, um, so here's the second Jurassic World trailer. Uh, Jurassic World, which I, if you guys will watch, what was that, episode 11? Yeah, episode 11? Yeah. I did not like Jurassic World. I And we're also stuck on a commercial again. Mm Hmm? Why are they playing this like a horror movie? Because they're making it horror. What the fuck? Hey, Blue. Isn't that the exact same scene that was in the last movie? Yeah. Is that kid blind? Whoa. No, they better not fucking kill Blue. They better not kill my baby girl. So it's the same movie as um, what is Lost it? World. The second one. It yes and no. Because they're trying to profit off these monsters again. Yeah. They get loose and shit goes wrong. But they're kind of trying to make it scarier. Yeah. But this one, but this Jurassic World looks more intense than any of the Jurassic Park movies. Like, the first yeah, one was yeah. very, like, magnific- magnificent. It's, the like, very wondrous. The first one was wondrous. very grounded and real. Yeah. Uh, this they one, even talk about the political, the- not the political, but the economical, like. This one just seems scary. Like, they're trying to make it more scary, more action adventure. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I'm excited for it, though. Because, like, I want to see what happens to these dinosaurs and, like. And we did see guy from Law and Order fly away in the helicopter, and he's making now he looks like he just keeps on making hybrid dinosaurs. Yeah. And that could fuck up the whole thing. Yeah. Um, Why would they keep making hybrid dinosaurs when they saw how bo- how bad the Dominus X X Rex was? Um. Yeah, that's a good question. Hopefully, they answer that in this movie. They can't be like, oh, it'll work, obviously, because they'll be like, uh, we just proved to you, last movie, that this doesn't work. It doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, to keep them on their own island alone, don't bug them. Or just kill them all. Bomb it. Bomb the island. Maybe. But it's their responsibility at this point. Um, alright, so we're gonna watch The Rock 
and Being his new rock. movie coming out. Sorry. Hit skyscraper. The, hit the mic again. Ay, ay, ay. It's a long commercial. It's almost three minutes. Is that a war movie? FBI. Bomb. He lost a leg. A soldier lost a leg? No, FBI. Uh, I think he's FBI, yeah. I don't like seeing The Rock lose a leg. Makes me, makes me look, makes me really sad. Shh, I can't hear what the fuck's going on because you won't shut up. There's magic stuff. There's the guy from The Dark Knight. They're the in a weird. The Joker they're in a life. weird hotel. So it's it's just about a building that's really tall so people can't get out and someone attacks the people in the building. That's what it's about, right? Yeah, I think so. It's just a tip it seems like a typical action movie. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, the wife and kids are gonna need to get saved. Cause you can hear it on the thing. Well guess what? You put it back to the exact same volume I had it before, and I can't hear what they're saying. But we're it's the TV is blocking out our voices. Here's the thing. None of these movies excite me. I've not seen one movie that I actually want to see. It's another movie about a big-ass man with big-ass muscles while the woman stays behind and needs help. Hey, yo. The Rock is the coolest. I'm so excited to see another dick, guys. Another dick be the lead role of a film. Hey, run, like dick, run. No, The Rock... Don't, don't lose faith. You can make that jump that's impossible. It's so impossible. Oh my god, that's so dumb. No one can make that jump. Yeah, but he's the rock. It's a fake leg, it's gonna fall off. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's literally just San Andreas Falls, but instead of the falls, it's a building. Like, there you go. Don't even want, need to watch the movie. The final Black Panther trailer came out too. Why is it nine minutes? Is this all this from the uh, no, Super Bowl? No, this is just some dude, like, cut and paste the commercials all together. Oh well, we're I thought we we're just watching Super Bowl stuff. Well, we, I think we've seen them all. Hold on. Oh nope, Krypton. Krypton. Wait, Bulls. Titanic 2, Jack Black? Is this that, real? No, that's not real at all. Trailer remastered. Okay, that's not real. I was about to say, <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be, I would fucking pay good money for that. <laughs> all right, okay. so the final Super Bowl one. Krypton. Krypton. Why is it sci on sci-fi? Sci-fi. It's a television show? Yeah. Why are they dressed Shut like the normal fuck up. people? Who is this about? It's about the people of Krypton. Before it explodes. Because the S is his family's last name, right? Yeah. But you fail. It's about Clark's grandfather. Why would I want to watch a movie about a people that I know are all going to die? Yeah, see, that's a good question. Literally, it's like, hey, fall in love with these characters. They're all going to be dead soon. 
Like, none of this matters. Their entire planet's going to be killed. Well, I guess then you could say, should we fight ever, Chris? Because in the future, we're all probably dead. Uh, that's a nihilistic way of looking at it. The world but, shall not exist as it does now in the future. But this series is, like, doomed to fail. I because think they also forget it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like, this movie is doomed to fail. Why do you think that? Because no one's going to watch Oh, A Quiet Place is a Super Bowl ad. I actually want to see this one. All right. Um, but the reason why this is going to fail is because everyone knows what happens to Krypton. Yeah. It doesn't matter at all. No one cares about how Krypton was. They yeah. want to know what and then where also, Superman like, you're is. You're gonna fall in love with these characters. This show has to end eventually. Yeah, it, if it goes on too long, it's another Smallville. Yeah. Okay, this one is another Super Bowl ad. It's called The Quiet Place with John Krenans- Kroniski. Kroniski and Emily Blunt, who is his wife, right? Yeah. Okay. All oh, this. this I remember seeing good. this trailer yeah. in the movie theater. Oh my god. So they live in a place where this thing hears noise. It's like some monster. Some monster, so they don't speak. They speak in like sign language. Yeah. Everything they do silently. They walk. They know where all the boards are that creak. So let's watch this short. Yeah. I don't know what it's about, but it looks really good. Oh, it's the ad. I like kind of like thrillers. Yeah, but um, like I saw someone goes like, "Oh, it's a, it's a horror movie about deaf people." I was like, "No, they're not fucking deaf. They could talk." Oh, it's aliens. If they hear you, they hunt you. Oh, it's aliens, guys. Whoa. And it's coming out April 6th. Oh, man, I'm super excited for that. That looks scary. Yeah. I'm super excited. Oh, Westworld, but I haven't seen the first I season. I didn't watch it because it had a lot of rape in it. Yeah. So, I haven't seen the first season. I don't like rape, guys. No one does. It's evil. A lot of people watch it. If you but, don't like it, why do you watch it? No, it's a legitimate question. Rape is used as a plot. I oh, was yeah. watching um, The Bates Motel. Whatever that's called, The Bates. You know that show about oh, Psycho? Oh, the Red Sparrow trailer. Yeah, and, oh, I know. But one second. You know what I'm talking about? The, yeah. the show? I stopped watching it after the mom got raped. Because I was like, why did the mom have to get raped? Yeah. You couldn't come up with another plot? You had to rape someone? And they showed it. It was very violent. Oh, what the fuck? Like I she got tied to that. a table and he raped her. And then after that, I was like, I'm done. I'm tired of rape being used as a plot device. Um, but this movie looks super interesting. Okay. It's I, called The Red Sparrow. And it's no, not no, not much, Red Sparrow. I don't oh, give a fuck about the Red Sparrow. Place. I, I mean, thought he was talking about The Sparrow because that's the one he's talking about. The Quiet Place? Yeah. Oh, Quiet Place? Yeah, I know. It looks really interesting. It, because that's such a unique way to deal with something. Like, to tell a story, like, no one can talk. You got to just... Watch it. This you could turn off the sound in your move in that movie and understand exactly what's going on. Yeah. And like, I'm sick. How and tired. can you do everything with silence though? Like, <laughs> that's such an interesting premise. Yeah, because like every alien movie is always like, oh, we gotta get our military in and blah 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 blah. You know, like, there's even like Pacific Rim. You got Idris Elba. It's like tonight we're canceling the apocalypse we're going to reschedule <laughs> and then like they fight giant monsters with robots and stuff but like this is so interesting it's not like anything you've seen before it's like what a interesting way to do this story the alien arrival story it's well, really it's cool like half the movies we just watched the trailers are all redos this seems so unique. Yeah. So, that's kind of refreshing. So, I guess we're ending it off on Red Sparrow. Okay. 
I feel like they should have had a commercial for The Incredibles. Yeah, I agree. Man, like, I feel like Marvel dropped the ball on this one. Why? Because they could have literally made this the Black Widow story. Is this Marvel? No, this is just a spy movie. It's based off a book, though. Yeah, but if you have a female spy, Black Widow, who's from Russia, no. Nah. They don't want to give female leads for some reason. Oh, and then it's just a thing of all the Super Bowl commercials. Yeah, but... There's one that I really want to watch with MLK. Just click it. There's a supposedly one with Rand. This is 12 minutes. How, much, how, how long is on the... How long have we been talking? Um, good question. Chris sucks as the, uh, I don't know what you call him, soundboard operator? Mm, you suck. You suck. You suck. You don't suck. That's your problem. Yeah. You suck. You know what I'm talking about. Um, we are in the 38 minute mark. We can fucking watch it. Why are you complaining? All the tr- like all the commercials. I Just, guess we're going it's only commercials. 12. In. I thought we were going commercials. They didn't realize we were only talking about the trailers. When we talked about this episode, we said we were going to watch the commercials. All right. Well, we're in it now. M and M's. M&M. Oh, oh, yeah, right. That and, makes sense. And M&M the red M M&M would be Danny DeVito. <laughs> I, oh my uh, God, Danny DeVito! No. You got hit by a car. It's a Doritos commercial with the guy. Who plays Tyrion Lannister. And he's pretending to rap. He's doing Busta Rhymes. He's got a nice shirt. And this is for Doritos? Yeah, Blaze. Because he's spitting hot fire. Why Blaze? Why didn't they keep Jack? Morgan Freeman! Oh, he's Missy Elliott. Man, this is so cool. Oh, Morgan Freeman. I hope you're God. Oh, it's Doritos and Mountain Dew together. hell's going on here? I don't know what's happening. That was weak. Uh, I've seen this so many times already. I heard people say that this year's Super Bowl commercials weren't that good. Alright, that can go. Oh my god, again with this guy. I know you're from Friends and you need money. <laughs> they probably don't. Yeah, they probably really don't. That show's still on the air. Yeah, I know. It's under syndication. They're probably making a million dollars just wiping their ass out. Jesus again. This is such a weird commercial. These are so weird. I don't even understand them. This is what you call a failure. Think, take failure. Oh, yeah, Chris Pratt. Pratt. He's a runner, but the woman is a professional runner one of these, right? And she said the only thing she learned from doing this commercial is that Chris Pratt is not a runner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he trains with Randy Couture. I don't know who that is. MMA fighter. I don't know who that is. All right. Look at that tiny little. It's a beer commercial. Guess what? 
I hate beer. <laughs> He's actually an extra. <laughs> he thought he was. These commercials suck. Yeah. She's a comedian or something. Tadisha Tiffany had had Hadish Hadish. Football players kicking men. Fast food. Jack in the Box! You guys don't fucking have Jack in the Box out here. No. I love Jack in the Box. I, I've never heard of it, never seen it. In my eyes, Here's a it commercial doesn't exist. for it. It doesn't exist. Jack in the Box is the best. Not real. You fucking. Ah, oh, East Coast. East Coast, Beast Coast, that's right. Yeah, you are beast. You're not domesticated. Martha Stewart went to jail, bitch. Be careful. <laughs> She'll prison shank you. <laughs> she ripped Jax's nose off, guys. I would love it if she stabbed him with it. <laughs> like, right? Miss Martha Stewart went to jail for inside trading, right? Yes. Stab him with his own nose. Like, <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Hashtag Jack versus Martha. Are those fingers? It looks like she's eating the paneling on her Oh, no. It's wall. a face hiding in a closet looking at a chair. She's crying. She's really scared. There's a shadow. I bet she was a food commercial. Is it a stuffed bear? Yeah. He's dancing. The stuffed bear is dancing. I would freak out too. This thing's actually really creepy. I don't understand what's happening. I don't get it either. Just punt it. It's still dancing, guys. I'm not... What the fuck? This thing can move. Alright, now I'm more impressed. (laughs) There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, it's a tax commercial, TurboTax commercial. That's uh, actually the cleverest commercial I've seen so far. It's so weak. It's Morgan Freeman again. And whatever his name is. Who's, who's Tyron Lannister? What's his real name? Ah, uh, fuck. I forgot his name. They're doing tongue twisters. And rappers are doing it with them. Is this, these are all 90s rappers or something? Yeah. They're getting them ready to rap. And it's Mountain Doritos Dew Blaze Ice versus, versus Doritos Blaze. Mountain Dew Ice. Black Panther. Hey, Black commercial. Panther. This is cool. Cool guy. Nice car. Well done, my king. Hi, Michonne. You're driving a very fancy car. It's red leather seats. That's really nice. I really dig Black Panther's costume. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's very sleek. Is that Michonne I just said show off? Her name's not Michonne, but I don't know her name either. Man, I hope that uh, thing that went around the internet recently about uh, a reporter Mm -hmm. is willing to pay other news reporters to talk about 
the U.S.'s deal with Wakanda over the incarceration of uh, Bucky Williams Barnes. Oh, wait. Didn't someone want them to ask that during the actual pre- yes. pre- White House briefing? Yes. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. It's, wait, it's, I want to see what whatever her name is, is Sarah Huckabee Sanders would what say. What the fuck's wrong? What's wrong with me? It's a Taco Bell commercial about not having fries. Why doesn't Taco Bell have fries? Because dad is it's Googling. not Mexican. They shouldn't have fries. They're a fake Mexican place. Yeah, you would know. Mexicans don't have fries like that, guys. Just so everyone knows, white people. Taco Bell, uh, real Mexican food. Just, just so you know. What the fuck? <laughs> What's a Mexican spice, y'all? They're making a conspiracy theory video. Yeah, about french fries. This is a funny one. Can you turn up the light? It's dark. I can't see. Web of fries. Babe, light, please. You are the worst person to watch a movie with, are you? Why? You want full light and I can't see anything. You s- it's because you want to touch your feet. <laughs> it's because I can't see without my I have my glasses on. Now it's an Amazon commercial. Yeah, I am touching my feet, by the way. I'm ripping all the dead skin off, okay? <laughs> I want my Amazon Alexa to sound like Gordon Ramsay's. <laughs> Do people actually use Alexa and all yeah. that shit? For what? A friend of mine actually has an Alexa, right? Mm-hmm. And her daughter ordered Disney uh, Disney on Ice tickets by just saying that she wanted Disney on Ice tickets. Uh, and she's like, what the fuck? And then she's like, I want to go on a vacation. And she's like, Alexa, I want to go on a vacation. Mm-hmm. And now she's worried that she got booked a vacation somewhere. <laughs> What the fuck is that noise? Anthony Hopkins has so many peacocks. <laughs> what is this commercial about? Alexa? Yeah. Oh, she's taking over for the other voices? And that was it. Those were the Super Bowl commercials. They were terrible. The commercials that everyone waits for the... It's like the Super Bowl. The, the Super Bowl is the commercials. Yeah. And people watch the commercials. A lot of people just watch the commercials. These are kind of weak sauce. They're all terrible. Wait, where was the... This couldn't have been all of them. What about the MLK one? The Ram MLK commercial. Look it up. That's the one I really want to watch. They use an anti-capitalist speech from Martin Luther King. To try and sell cars. That makes no goddamn sense. What? Anti-capitalist speech to sell cars. He, they took his speech, which is about anti-capitalism, and they edited it to fit their purposes to sell cars. Or that's what I read. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., February 4th, 1968, spoken 50 years ago today.
Yeah, it's still, literally it was just a, another shitty commercial. Just another commercial, but they tried to use Martin Luther King Jr. to sell cars. It was just a bad commercial. All the commercials were bad. They were very bad. Oh, well. So, I guess that's the end of our episode, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, someone's texting oh, Christopher. My phone. Um, yeah, check out our website, guys. Uh, it's superfunpack.com. Also, visit us on Twitter at superfunpack on Twitter. And you could always go on to YouTube and find our videos at Super Fun Pack. One, One word, word if you type it out on the uh, search bar. The Please like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you do helps us little by little. And you can join the pack. Join the family that is also known as Super Fun Pack. Yeah. Also, comment on this video and tell us what was your favorite commercial and why. And maybe tell us if we missed some commercials because we were sadly disappointed by all these commercials. Yeah, they they sucked hard. Maybe we missed something. I don't know. I don't know. No one was. But really I want to see Quiet Place. I want to see my Avengers, and I want to see my baby girl kick some ass again. <laughs> He's talking about Rexy, guys. Rexy. We love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We out. Peace.